You know, I take teaching very seriously, but sometimes it's important for a teacher to be able to get up in front of the class and just make a fool of themselves. So this demonstration kind of has that in mind. Um, we've talked about balancing equations in class maybe the day before, and uh, I like to get up and do this demonstration for them. So we have uh, the compound iron three oxide, that's Fe2O3, and under certain conditions, maybe enough heat is added to it, it can be decomposed, it'll react, that's what that arrow is all about. It decomposes into elemental iron, just Fe, and we have a special symbol in chemistry for and, it's uh, that one right there, I use it in math too. Oxygen, of course, oxygen being diatomic, it comes as O2. So there is a nice equation, but um, what do you notice about that equation, huh? Yeah, it's not balanced, huh? See, <laughs> not balanced. So, hmm, we got, ah, uh, that was silly. I should have realized we've got two irons here, only one here. So this will do the trick, yeah? Here we go. Okay, so now we have ourselves a balanced equation, huh? Ooh. Oh, silly me, I just balanced the iron, but I've got the oxygen to deal with as well. <laughs> we got three oxygens here, we got to balance it. I need three oxygens on the other side. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay, sometimes it takes a while to balance the equation, but when you balance it, you know you, huh? <laughs> I balance the irons. Oh, oh, the oxygens, they come diatomic. I put three there, I got six. Oh, what can I do? Fe2O6? No, I can't change the formula. Never do that. I can only put numbers out in front. Oh, I got it. I need to put a 2 out in front there, yeah? So now I'll have 6. Okay. So I said, sometimes it takes some time, but it's always worth it. You know when you have a balanced equation, the thing is nice and... Huh? Now I balanced the irons already, so I'm not sure what... Oh, I did balance them, but look at them now. With the 2 there... To give a six oxygen, I accidentally unbalance the irons. That happens sometimes, you're balancing the equation. I've got four irons here and two there. Hmm. What to do? I think this will solve it. We'll see. Ah. So, again, sometimes you have to be willing to make a fool of yourself in front of the class to drive a point home. But there it is, a nice balanced equation. And, uh... I don't know. If students see this, will they then expect equations to go like this on their worksheets and bounce like this when they're done? Uh, I don't think so, but the students appreciate this, and they appreciate a, a teacher being willing to just kind of act foolish for a, a demonstration such as this. It's corny, I know, but it's a fun one. There, by the way, are different weights on the backs of these, in case you were wondering. And you might think, oh my gosh, that would be impossible to, to, to come out. It's really not. The only thing that's important is the very last one you put on, which was this one right here, has just the right amount of weight, so it brings it even. So little pieces of tape, some of them have pennies taped to the backside, but it's just a fun demonstration, and so easy to set up. I mean, I just take those tiles off and I'm ready to go again. So, there it is. I call this demonstration balancing equations, literally. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>